Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here at St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master in the word of God. We do it on a daily basis. And I want to thank you so much for joining us this week as we've been unpacking this familiar story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and learning the lessons from this powerful and important story. We've already seen how the king has set up a golden idol, wants everybody to worship this golden idol. It's an image of himself because he's trying to project a certain image. Do you try to constantly project an image of someone that you're not trying to impress folk, maybe buying a car or house or something just for image sake so that people will worship you, think highly of you because you're projecting a certain image. Buying things with money you don't have to impress folk you don't really like doesn't make sense. Well, he has an image problem, he has an ego problem, he has an anger management problem. He wants everybody to stop what they're doing when they hear the sound of the music and start worshiping. And everybody will do it except three stubborn Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, because their religion will not let them. They get reported to the king. We've got these Hebrew boys who are in position of power who will not comply to your decree. So he brings them in, gives them an a second chance to do it, and they refuse. They refuse. And the king has a, a tizzy. He's in a tizzy. Chapter 3, verse 19 says this. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. His attitude towards them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times harder than usual, commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men were in their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes, were bound, don't forget that, they were bound, tied up, got to get that, and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, your, master, your majesty. Wow. There were three we tied up. And we're going to find out something in, in, in tomorrow. But let me say this, that we've already seen that there's a battle going on between uh, King Nebuchadnezzar and God. Remember what he said in verse 15, chapter 3, verse 15? This is what Nebuchadnezzar said. He said, now when you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, if you, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image, I made very good. But if you do not worship it, you'll be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace. Then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? So when the Hebrew boy said, we're not going to bow, the king said, this is what I'm going to do to you. And your God is not going to be able to rescue you from my hand. In other words, his hand is stronger than the hand of God. His little puny hand is greater than the hand of God that made everything. And so he is challenging God. That's what's going on. But you know what? I believe that because of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's convictions, that the king is starting to question himself. He already was insecure. But he's questioning himself. Now, how do I know that the guy's insecure? That maybe he can't beat these Hebrew boys. First of all, he heats up the furnace seven times hotter. Now, look, when it comes to fire, you don't have to heat it up seven times hotter. All you have to heat it up is just one time. Because if you're throwing in some fire, fire is fire is fire is fire. So to heat it up seven times hotter, you know, it, it not, it's not, you know, it, one time it's going to do what seven times can do. But you know what he's doing? And not only that, think, think, check, check this out. He's tied them up. In other words, he's saying, I'm going to bring my best game to try to hurt God's people. So just in case God comes through for them, then I'm going to flex my muscles with a furnace seven times hotter and bound them up. I'm going to bring my A game because he's insecure that maybe God might be able to deliver them. Well, 
God has a way of making you feel insecure when you go against God. And this should have been the test because listen to me, God always kind of gives you some cues before you mess up that don't go there. What happened to the soldiers who threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace? The, the heat consumed them. So they're on the outside of the furnace. Watch this. They're on the outside of the furnace and they get consumed. God's people are on the inside of the furnace and they're surviving. Because when God is with you, even though you're at the disadvantage, because God is with you, you have an advantage that even those who are on the outside do not have. So they bound them and they throw them into the fiery furnace. And tomorrow we're going to see what happens to them. All right. We're going to pick that up on tomorrow. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Bless your people today. Don't let us get discouraged because we're being tested. We're on our way up. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me again for another powerful point to ponder. Uh, look, if you don't have a church home, we'd like to extend an invitation to you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Email us here at St. Stephen's SSCLive.org and we will get back with you. Peace and blessings to you. We're going to close this thing out tomorrow. Make sure you're here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to learn some important things tomorrow. Uh, this important lesson as we close out this series on Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There's, there's no success without a test. Look, we'll pick up again, again tomorrow, but until the end during COVID-19, don't forget to stay safe, stay sane, and God is in control. Don't forget that. See you tomorrow.